Hello friends, Marcy here, and I have finally received um, the second Kaweco student pen after um, purchasing and experiencing the first one, which I just adore. I've been using um, all week, and it, it's been performing amazingly. Um, this is the second color. I need to break out the other one. Okay, this one is brown. This is the student pen, um, and the brown is called 20s Jazz, the 20s Jazz, and I am going to, um, well, as you know, these little brochures uh, tell the history of Kueko, and then, of course, we have a sticker. It's quite different. The other stickers were like bright silver, um, but I love these tins. They are so functional. Um, I have, I do have this one in my little Galen leather, um, pen pouch with my notebook, um, the everyday book that I carry at work slash school. So I've been using this one and I love the way this matches, by the way. Um, perfect. So this one is the first one I ordered and, um, it is 60s Swing. So I've been adoring it. It is inked with the Monte Verde Olivine. And this is a fine nib. So I like to experience different nib sizes. And this one I ordered the medium nib. As we can see noted there. But again, love this. And oh, that's cold to touch. <laughs> love this. Um, pen size and a grip section here. Um, I did order a converter also to go with, and I just have to decide which ink I want to use and we'll ink together. Let's see. I didn't bring over my converter. So when I first ordered this pen, I was thinking of uh, the Sailor Texas 50 States that I've recently received and shared. Um, or one of these new, I, I failed to, sh to share my Jet Pens haul, um, Diamond Inks. I was thinking, these are guitar series, um, that I found. This one is Tobacco Sunburst, or Cherry Sunburst. And again, these are from a guitar series that um, I will share with you soon. A lot to experience. But I think today we're just going to go with um, the Sailor 50 States Texas on the brown. We'll ink it up. I will rinse the nib and we'll do a little quick writing sample. Let's see. So I do need to show you, in case you haven't seen a previous video of the other student, um, what's included in the purchase. Um, aside from this gorgeous uh, reusable tin, um, I do have lotion on my hands, so I know I'm making fingerprints here. <laughs> so you have a, a blank converter that you could refill with ink of your choice and also a blue I'm sorry, I said converter, I meant cartridge. It does have the Kaweco name on the side. So you could refill with ink of your choice. You could use the included um, ink cartridge, but I am going to be putting these aside back in the tin and we will use the converter that actually has to be purchased separately. Um, and it also has the Kueko name there on the cylinder. So uh, let me do a quick rinse of the nib and we'll be back to ink it up and do a writing sound. Okay, I normally do not find an ink residue when I flush or rinse uh, a new nib from Kueko. But other brands are, especially Lamy, is known for that. Um, so... get our components put back together and this is actually okay I can see threads here on the outside of this converter but I do not see any inside threads here 
it's only going to be push in to connect um, this threaded part of the the converter is not uh, threading to anything externally there that's odd I didn't notice that before on my green I don't know if any of you have noticed that yeah there's the threads I did not notice that before on um, the converter when I used it so okay let's get into an ink bottle don't want to block too much of your view and I always forget to do this and put my plunger down when I'm filling until after I try to fill let me think of after all these that I've done, I can remember, but okay, that is an excellent fill for a first fill. And we're gonna leave it at that. start off on the Rhodia pad um, even though it's not my favorite paper I do enjoy other papers better let's see if I can change the writing angle so you can see more of the writing sample without a blur so we have oh wow that was an immediate nice uh, Kaweco student I do hear and feel a little bit of the feedback wonder if you do too um, and this is the 20s jazz with a medium nib writing with sailor 50 states Texas and I am in Texas so love 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 that all right so here's wow that's very smooth just some swirls slow down and try to do a little bit of pressure no line variation there um, which is expected and our ink is not too wet um, using the medium nib and for a quick comparison let me just bring out the uh, fine nib on the 60s swing I'm not getting that and show you the Monte Verde um, oops hard start there oh my whoops <laughs> okay it's been a couple days since I used this pin I'm glad you're able to experience this with me um, and it has been laying ho um, horizontal flat on a desk so I'll just advance the converter there a little bit push some ink down into the nib feed and let's see what we have here okay so this is the Monte Verde Olivine and this was from a sample bottle um, that I purchased uh, for this pen uh, intentions for this pen and this is a fine nib on the 60s swing there we go that one little hard start um, I guess it's just because it hasn't been uh, laying or stored properly and I haven't used it in three days I know so anyway loving these um, Koiko student pins I thought I was quite finished with purchasing Kawaiko pins because I have quite the collection of the sports and the AL, AL Lunum pins. But um, after discovering these in a video, I just like, wow, I got to try one. And then I'm on, I'm trying to, but I think I'll stop there.
I'm enjoying them. I don't need all the colors. <laughs> I'm loving these. So thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.